facts about love, its history and more. 1. It is the brain that causes someone to fall in love. They assert that when you fall in love, you hypothalamus the hypothalamus, which is situated next to the pituitary gland in the brain, is in charge of coordinating hormone release, hunger regulation, and daily physiological cycles. When you're in love, the hypothalamus releases several hormones, including oxytocin and cortisol, which give you that swoon-worthy, I'm high up in the heavens feeling. 2. One becomes lovesick when their cortisol levels are high. When you already feel light on your feet just thinking about the individual, you know you're in love. To produce this feeling, the brain produces hormones. Short cortisol spikes are really pleasant. However, it's too much, you're already in love. Literally. This hormone increases energy levels and aids in blood pressure control. The body becomes stressed when too much cortisol is released, which can result in headaches, heart disease, anxiety, and depression. 3. Bad memories may also be brought on by oxytocin. When you see the person you love, you get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your chest that is addictive. However, it is not always advantageous. Oxytocin, the hormone of love, is involved in both animal and human emotional bonding. According to a study from the Feinberg School of Medicine at Northwestern University, oxytocin can raise anxiety and panic and can raise anxiety and panic so, in a sense, love is painful. 4. Women's immune systems get stronger when they fall in love. Although picking a mate is a normal human impulse, doing it successfully can be difficult. Damian Murray, an assistant professor in the Tulane School of Science and Engineering, did research on the immune system's relationship with falling in love in conjunction with UCLA professors. According to their findings, when women are in love, the activity of genes linked to antiviral defenses increases. Their immune systems grew stronger as a result of the body preparing itself for pregnancy. 5. In the first year of love, the body's fight-or-flight reaction is intensified. It's a good thing to be in love. You're constantly joyful, anticipating the future with a sense of excitement. However, the human body is much more equipped in that regard. As soon as a person experiences love, their body's fight-or-flight reaction is put on high alert. Thank goodness, this physiological response only persists for a year. 6. A person's dilated pupils can tell if they are attracted to someone. People who are in love are said to have hearts in their eyes. When the irises get larger, the hormone surge causes pupillary dilatation. Their pupils naturally enlarge when two people are attracted to each other. The biological urge to reproduce is sent by the body. 7. Hearts get warmer when they are absent. Even though a long-distance relationship isn't ideal, relationship experts concur that it can really strengthen a couple. Experts advise conversing with your partner, being present, promoting each other's interests, spending time together even when you are apart addressing problems, talking about a strategy for fusing your two worlds, and delivering frequent affirmations of your love for them. 8. As addictive as cocaine is love. Ecstatic and in love. There's a rationale behind that. According to research, 12 brain regions are active at once when someone is in love. Dopamine, oxytocin, adrenaline, and vasopressin all produce a comparably euphoric effect to cocaine. 9. Less likely to be productive are those who are in love. Have you ever started your work pile only to find yourself sighing, daydreaming, and grinning to yourself doubt that's what love does to you, so it's normal. Obsessive love decreases productivity in humans, according to science. By establishing limits and reducing distractions, you may quickly get back into your groove. 10. An excellent way to reduce stress is to hold hands. This sweet and private public display of affection is socially acceptable. However, it affects the body more than the heart. Since parents have been holding their children's hands since the time they were born, hand-holding isn't just a behavior reserved for romantic relationships. According to an experimental psychologist, holding hands will quickly lower blood pressure, calm the pulse rate, and reduce stress levels.